In this video, we're going to take a look at inserting pictures in PowerPoint. It's similar to the way it is in Word. Um, let's go to the top of our slideshow here and let's click after slide number one, our title slide, and let's go to new slide and uh, let's do a two content slide, okay? So you put your title in and then let's say I want some text over here and on this side I want a picture and to go along with the text. So let's click on picture over here. And the insert picture dialog box comes up and I'm just going to go out to my pictures here and we'll go to sample pictures. And let me see. Um, Let's do the penguins and insert. And it's taken a while for the thumbnails to come up, but uh, okay, there's our picture. And let's take a look at some of our options here. Uh, first of all, the picture tools comes up. It has one tab, and that's the format tab. And we've got uh, a number of choices here. Um, we can go over here and choose remove background. And for some reason, uh, it comes up with indented handles here and we just need to kind of move them out and then what you can do is you can mark the areas to keep and mark areas to remove so I'm gonna click on all the stuff that's purple here is stuff that's going to be removed so I want to keep these parts down at the bottom let's say I want to get rid of some of the sky and uh, actually let's just say I want to keep track keep our uh, penguins but if I click down here and actually what you need to do is click and drag and uh, It'll get you a pretty good sized chunk every time you do it. It looks for similar colors. And that should get that. And then down here. And then there. And right there. Okay, so let's say that those are the ones that we wanted to keep. And now let's go in and let's mark some areas that we want to get rid of. So I'm going to take from here down to here. And let's see how smart it is. That was pretty good. And then I want this stuff. And I want this stuff. And I want this stuff. And this. And this. And this. And now um, let's say keep the changes. And now whatever was behind this, which in this case just happens to be white, um, is going to be uh, visible. Now, I think this penguin looks a little funny right now. It looks like part of him is missing. So let's see if we can undo that and uh, discard all of our changes. And there we're back to the original picture. Okay. Um, you can go in here and make corrections. Uh, and I think you get a live preview when you do this. Um, this picture happens to be pretty good. And this is the original picture right here. Um, if you have a picture that's a little overexposed or underexposed, sometimes changing the brightness or contrast here uh, will make the picture look a little bit better. But this one already looks pretty good, so I don't think we're really going to have to do too much with it. It looks like we're in cha changing the contrast as we go down here. So there we get a little more contrast. So let's, uh, let's try that. Um, you've also got some color options here. Uh, you can... Let's do some live previews here. We're not going to see too much of a difference on these. And I don't know if these will even show up in the video, but if you try it on your own, as further you go, the more obvious the changes are. Uh, you can recolor the whole thing, just add a tint to it. Uh, and you've got more variations down here that uh, you can play with on your own if you're interested. But uh, you've got quite a few options here. Uh, we've also got artistic effects, and each one of these has a name. Uh, this is the original picture. And this um, apparently makes it look like it was drawn with a marker. Uh, this is supposed to make it look like pencil, and so on. Each one has a name, and it modifies the picture using some algorithm. So this is supposed to be done with a watercolor, grainy film, mosaic, glass, looking at it through wavy glass, uh, painted on cement I guess, uh, some texture added, kind of looks like it's on a 
canvas. Uh, and here's kind of a cool one down there. Makes the edges glow. Okay, And so you can try those if you're not happy with the original picture. Uh, and one kind of nice feature here is if you do mess stuff up, you can always go back here and reset it and get your original picture back. So I think I did some contrast changes on that. So I'm going to choose Reset Picture. And if you watch the picture, uh, you do see a little bit of change there. Uh, then we've got picture styles, uh, and these are presets, and basically they just do things like uh, add a border, uh, maybe round the corners, tilt it a little bit, add some shadows and reflections and stuff like that. So they're, they're like some predefined picture styles, and if you find something you like here, you can change the picture a little bit. Okay. And then if you want to get more specific, you can go in here and you can change the border. And it's given us a live preview here. And you've also got some choices here for more colors and weight and, and stuff like that. And you can try those on your own. Uh, we've got some picture effects here. Um, you can do a shadow. See, here's a little drop shadow. You can do a reflection. And if I do, there we go, you can see the reflection. And basically, the options here just kind of control the size of the reflection and the gap between the picture and the reflection. Uh, you can make it glow a little bit. Let's try some of the real obvious ones down here. Um, you can add soft edges. And that's probably not going to show up too much on this one because I've got it uh, rotated. Let's go back and uh, go back to our styles here. And let's try um, let's try this one. No, let's try this one. And now let's go back to picture effects and let's see what soft edges does to that. And you can see it uh, tells you how many points. And once I get past 10 points here, uh, then I'm no longer in the, the picture frame. And you've got more options for that one as well. Uh, you can add a bevel effect, which kind of gives it kind of a 3D look. And um, I'm not seeing much on these. I don't know if you have to, if I just have to be more patient or if it's not doing a live preview for me. Uh, Oh, it is. Um, it's in the black border. That makes that's why it's pretty hard to see. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take that border off, and then we'll go back here to picture effects, and we'll try bevel. And they should be. Uh, it's a lot more obvious now because the bevel's uh, going to be around the edges here. And so you can give it a bevel effect, and again, uh, there's more options, and you can rotate it as well if you want to. So. And I'm just going to leave it the way it was uh, before. Just go click. And if you have multiple pictures here, you can send them forwards or backwards. Um, you can rotate your pictures. Um, and if you have multiple pictures, I'm going to do a copy here. Let's left click or right click on that and choose copy. And then let's right click and, uh, wow, well, it's not going to let me paste. Why is it not letting me paste? Let me try that again. Do a copy. And now let's go over here and uh, let's do paste options. And we'll click on that. I think it may have not let me because I wasn't in a text box before, but I'm not sure. Okay, now the alignment options. Um, I can choose two items, two pictures here and go to my Format tab and click on Align. And I can align the left edges of the pictures, which doesn't make much sense. But let's say I want them to make sure that they're across from one another. I can align their tops. And I think I got a little bug here in PowerPoint. I'm going to go down to the next slide and then come back. And <clears throat> you know what? I have two pictures there. There we go. That's why I didn't see the other one get pasted in. So I've got two pictures. Now I'm going to shift uh, click on the second one. So they're both selected. And I'm going to go to Format, and I'm going to go to Align, and I want their tops to be aligned. And now I've got them. And now if I click and drag, uh, they will move together. And I can also do things like um, align them vertically. Uh, if I choose Align Middle here, they will be aligned on the middle of the page. And apparently they were pretty close to the middle already. Uh, so let's do Align Top. I'm sorry. That refers to the pictures. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Now, if I turn if I turn this checkbox off, which okay, which I do by clicking on a line to slide, then now if I do a line uh, a line top, now it's going to line to the slide. And then if I do a line middle, that'll be the middle of the slide from top to bottom. And if I do a line bottom, that'll be the bottom of the slide. And if I do a line left, okay, now they're both aligned on the left side, which uh, doesn't really do much for me. I'm going to undo that. And then I'm just going to go back here and I'm going to click and I'm going to drag them up. And you see, I got the nice little lines here that show up. Those dotted lines show up when I've got it centered. And let's see if we get some horizontal lines here. If I get it centered... Yeah, if I get centered vertically, I get the horizontal lines as well. Okay, uh, so let's uh, do a shift click. I lost them. Uh, clicked by mistake somewhere else. And let's do that. And there we go. Uh, we can align them. We can uh, put frames on them. We can uh, change the colors. We can do almost almost anything you do in, in a lot of photo editors. Uh, you can do right here inside of PowerPoint. And all of this stuff also works in Word as well.